Numbers revealing a dramatic increase in subway crimes targeting strap hangers last month in the city. And then this comes as a man was attacked by a stranger on a subway platform just last night. CBS News' John Diaz is live from the 28th Street subway station in Chelsea with more. John? Chris and Mary, please telling us the victim here in this case, he will be okay, though he was taken to the hospital for lacerations to the head. But as for the suspect, though, we are told this morning that person is still on the loose. A crime scene takes over the 28th Street subway station last night, a visual that is becoming all too familiar for those in the city. Every day something's happening in the subways. It's disgusting. Now I'm a, a New Yorker, born and raised. And it's crazy. Here, police say a 23-year-old man was standing on the southbound one train platform just before midnight when a stranger used a glass bottle to hit him in the head. Police are calling it an unprovoked attack. The NYPD is also searching for this man, wanted in connection with an assault on Saturday, October 2nd, after a fight at the West 4th Street subway station by Washington Square Park turned into a stabbing. Two recent violent crimes that don't even factor into the latest jump in last month's stats. We took an uptick in overall crime during the month of September. There were 68 additional incidents compared to the same month last year. This transit bureau inspector reported to the MTA board about a 58.6% increase in major crimes last month. That included an increase of more than 88% in grand larceny and a 50% increase in felony assaults. Some board members believe the answer is looking at fare evasion. But technically, the people that are committing crimes are not paying their fares. So if you stop them at the turnstile, you've not only stopped a big hemorrhage of money, but you've also stopped crime. The mayor insists the NYPD has surged cops on the trains and that it has been a deterrent. We'll keep doing that whenever we need to and wherever we need to. Now, while this comes as the MTA has seen an increase in ridership, it's now at 55% of the 8 million people who used to take mass transit before the pandemic. We're live this morning from Chelsea. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you. Now to the